Uh, yeah. Today I'm gonna be sharing with you guys some tips on how to create a good quality video. But before that, let's roll the intro. Hey, it's Zorel from Exitional TV where you can discover new things. So if you're new here, make sure to click that subscribe button and you can find all the links to my previous video in the description box below. Before we begin, I just want to welcome you guys to my new videography guide and tutorial series. Hopefully after watching this video, you guys will have a basic understanding and a basic knowledge on how to create and make your very own high quality video. Right, we're not gonna waste any more time, let's begin. Okay, first things first, familiarize yourself with your equipment, doesn't matter if it's a DSLR camera, mirrorless camera, or even a smartphone. Read the instruction manuals and learn all the functions that your devices offer as well as its capabilities. For example, can it shoot in 4K in 24fps? What is the highest frame rate that your device can shoot for a slow motion effect? Is there any picture profile built into your devices? Does it have EIS or OIS? Oh yeah, for those who doesn't know, EIS stands for Electronic Image Stabilization and OIS stands for optical image stabilization. For me personally, I prefer the OIS over the EIS, but if your devices offer both systems, then you're in luck, bro. Secondly, never ever shoot in auto mode and avoid using that function if possible and always try to shoot in manual mode. Every camera has a manual mode. But in some cases, it's also known as the pro mode. But it, but in this case, it's only you're gonna only find it in some smartphones. So the advantage of shooting in a manual mode is that you will have a full control of your exposure level, your focus area, your color temperature, your white balance, and especially your frame rate. Having a full control of this area will make your life easier when editing it in post production. Trust me and you will have a much more accurate color reproduction and adding a more value to your video. Now, I'm gonna assume that most of you knows what resolution means, right? If not, then don't worry because I'm gonna give you guys an overall idea of what resolution is and I'm gonna list down some of the widely used resolution nowadays. So the first one is 1080p or 1920 by 1080p. That's the res resolution resolution by the way. <laughs> and the second is 2K or 2560 by 1440p. And the third one is 4K, which is 3840 by 2160. So I'm guessing that you guys are currently thinking in what resolution that you're gonna shoot your video in, right? So my advice for you guys is to go with the 1080p because this is the uh, most popular resolution nowadays for YouTubers and it, it consumes less space if compared to 4K and 2K and the most important important thing is you don't need a high-end PC to edit it in post-production. And honestly, I don't think most people have a 4K panel or a 4K TV in their home, right? So it would be such a waste if people can't get the full potential of your video if you're shooting or editing in 4K. On the other hand, if you guys want to have more detail and more quality to your video, I'm gonna be suggesting you guys to go with 2K because 2K is the perfect perfect balance between 4K and 1080p. Um, I mean, it sits somewhere in the middle between 4K and 1080p in terms of quality. But if you feel like that you're up to the challenge and want to make a content that stands out from the rest, then why don't just use 4K? 
using 4K will allow you to have much more significant advantage over other content creators creators because it has it offers a lot more in rich detail quality and a higher bit rate for your content but do bear in mind because you need to have a powerful powerful or, or a high-end PC to edit the, the video or the raw, raw footage in post production by the way guys I have a tutorial video on how to edit 4k footage in a lower specs PC so I'm gonna leave a link in the description box below so you guys can go ahead and watch that video if you guys are planning to shoot in 4k using the appropriate frame rate hmm I'm just gonna assume that you guys doesn't know what frame rate means so I'm gonna lay out some basic information for you guys so you guys can get the overall picture of what FPS means and also I'm gonna list down some widely used or popular frame rates all across so there are several FPS standards that are used in filmmaking as well as TV shows the first one is 24 FPS so 24 fps is the most recommended frame rate for your video or project because it's it will give a more cinematic touch to your video just letting you guys know that most movies and films that you see today are shot in 24 frames per second the second one is 30 fps so this is another standard format that is that are widely and commonly used in nowadays youtube videos as well as tv shows production in some countries and the third one is 60 fps and above anything that is higher than 60 fps is considered to be a high frame rate so it's not very suitable for most scenarios and situations the best scenario to use a high frame rate video is only when you're shooting a slow motion scene and other than that it's just not recommended as your video will turn out to be I mean will turn out looking like a video game cutscene and you don't want that trust me okay guys so this is the part one of my new videography guide and tutorial series so please stay tuned to my channel for part two and do give me a good rating by liking this video and subscribing to the channel because it's really gonna help me grow this channel and as always i'll see you guys in the next one shall i ciao